Hey folks, Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two different ways to customize your product sizing to meet your unique business needs. So I'm gonna do that uh, customizing by size and I'm gonna do it customizing by customer. So let's take a look. We're gonna use Kohlrabi as our example here. So I'm gonna open this product and I'm gonna show you that we've already got three sizes in here. We've got a small, a medium, and a large, and we do a live tray. Now it turns out I want an extra large size. So what do I do? I go to products. I'm going to add a product. I'm going to call it Kohlrabi Clam, like my current one is. I'm going to call it extra large, just like that. We're going to use the same Kohlrabi in our 1020 tray. It's going to be cut. I'm going to use my large size here because it's what I want. And we're going to call this a thousand grams that we're going to sell for say $40. We're going to add it like that. So now you can see we've got two distinct products in here. We've got our kohlrabi clam, which is just our small, medium, and large kohlrabi in clamshells. And then we've got a kohlrabi clam extra large. So now we've got one that's distinct. So let's put that into an order. And so I can show you what this means when you uh, add it to something. So it's, this is in the past, but it's okay. I'm going to add a product our kohlrabi clam extra large. It's the large size, $40, we're just gonna do one. We're gonna save that. Actually, I'm gonna add another product because we're gonna add the regular kohlrabi as well so you can see what this looks like. And this one's gonna be a large as well. And we'll just do one. We're gonna do this for this and following orders. Just makes it a little easier. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to tasks we're going to pick a day in the future here, which is the 18th. And so here you can see when we go down to packaging, we've got our kohlrabi clam here and our kohlrabi clam extra large. So the kohlrabi clam, we're packing 10 small and one large. And our kohlrabi clam extra large, we're packing one large. So theoretically, it's a little confusing, but I think it's quite obvious in the sense that this is a very specific product. And at packaging time, you should have your packaging and labels ready to go. So when it comes time to pack your kohlrabi clam extra large, you'll have that ready to go. Okay, so that is looking at how to add an extra size. And you can do extra, extra large, you can do extra small, you could do kohlrabi-clam-sample, which could be a 10 gram size, you can customize anything. And I would use these sizes strategically. I would actually just use small and large. I wouldn't use medium. So if it ends up being smaller than typical, it would be small. So kohlrabi clam sample would be a small, whereas kohlrabi clam extra large or super extra large would be large. So that allows you to create as many different sizes as you want and still keep things fairly organized. Okay. Now let's take a look at another way you can customize products sticking with our uh, kohlrabi clam. Now I'm gonna show you one of my uh, customers here. Actually, I'm gonna to go to orders. And one of the customers here is Choices, which is a grocery store. And it turns out Choices wants their own label. So we have all these clamshells and they all go in the same container, but now one customer decides they want a different label. So we're just gonna put a different label on those that are specifically for choices. So now what I'm gonna do, and I would do this for any product I sell to choices, I'm gonna create a new product. We're gonna call it Kohlrabi Clam, and then we're gonna call it Choices. So this is a product just for choices, basically. We're gonna use Kohlrabi again, and cut, and then this will be, they're only doing smalls, 100 grams, and a choices uh, price. And I can customize the pricing for choices here because it's a choices specific product. So maybe my regular clams are $6, but I'm wholesaling to choices for $4. So there we go there. So now I've got this kohlrabi clam choices. So when I go to orders and I go to choices, and you see I've got Sunny's up here, 
I've got speckled peas here. I've got daikon. I've got some pet grass there. I'm going to add another product. This one is going to be our kohlrabi clam choices. Size is going to be small. Quantity of 10. Save this for this and following orders. And again, let's go back to our tasks and take a look at how this plays out. Go to the 18th. Go down to our packaging. Now you can see we've got, uh, oh, do I not have kohlrabi? This is a different date, so I'm actually going to go to, I think that was a Tuesday order I put that in for. So in this one, we've got our kohlrabi clam, large, but here we've got our kohlrabi clam for choices, and I have 10 small of those. So when I'm preparing packaging, I know I'm going to need 10 with these specific labels. So those are two ways that you can sort of hack seed leaf in order to customize your product sizing. But it's not a hack in the sense that we've designed seed leaf intentionally to be flexible that way. We don't want to tie you too much into a specific system. And so we wanted to have small, medium, large to help keep things organized. But if you need to expand beyond that, you can do that by simply adding extra sizes through naming and creating a new product. And if you want to create a specific product for specific customers, same thing. Create a new product, give it a name specific to that customer. Then in both cases, you just need to make sure that you choose the correct product for the correct customer. So hopefully that's helpful in giving you a sense of ways you can customize Seed Leaf to meet your needs.